Yellow Puff. Yellow Puff. Hi, everyone. Greetings, friends. It's the James and David Beer, beer Review. What's going on? What we have got here <clears throat> is a very special type beer, I think. At least oh, the my gang. At least the price is. Oh, my gang? Because I can buy a whole case of beer for the amount of oh my. cost. At least Labatt's 24 ounces that are in 12 pack. They're only going to be more than that. Game of Thrones, something or another. Yes. But it's Christmas. It's almost Christmas. It's the last uh, new weekend before I, I, until after Christmas, I see Jim again. So that's Take the black. Why not? Stout. Why not and enjoy ourselves here? Ooh. 7% ABV. Yeah. Ale brewed with star anise. I've got all kinds of information here. Anise. And licorice. About meat. Take the Black Stout. Omi Gang and HBO announced the newest beer in the Game of Thrones collaboration series. Through its first three seasons, the critically acclaimed drama has become the biggest show on HBO. Take the Black Stout follows a highly coveted Iron Throne Blonde Ale, which flew off the shelves earlier this year. Well, this must be like a two-year-old review here, because it's, it's, we've gone through five seasons of, of uh, Game of Thrones, right? No, maybe we're still making it. Um, it has a year on it. Which, okay... To satisfy the appetite of Game of Thrones fans, production of Take the Black Stout will more than double the final volumes of Iron Throne Blonde Ale. Inspired by the Brotherhood of the Night's Watch, Take the Black Stout was made to be deep, dark, and complex, like those who have sworn to oath to defend Westeros against threats from the north. The label depicts the weirwood tree where Jon Snow recited the oath before becoming before joining the Night's Watch. In times in time for the holidays, Take the Black Stout makes the perfect gift shipping to distributors in early 2013, so it's like two years old. I don't know if this beer is two years old. The beer is available in 2750 ml bottles and 1.6 barrel kegs. Hmm. Tasting notes. T tasting notes. Tasting notes. Take, take, the deep, take the Black Stout has a deep black, almost opaque, you with a full tan head, deep aromas of dark chocolate, caramel malt, and earthy hops, with light roastiness and a touch of fruitiness, rich flavors of chocolate, coffee, and roasted malt. Clean hop bitterness co converges with a slightly woody character and spiciness. The finish offers a rich malt sweetness, giving way to spicy earthiness. The malt is robust amount of special. Especially malt, chocolate, malt, midnight, wheat, and roasted barley. Hops are northern brewed and Columbus. Spices are licorice root and star anise. Anise seed. Anise seed. Anise. Anise. That's ABV 7.0 available on draft. Okay. Pair the somber faces of disgraced nobles with roasted and barbecued chicken, oysters, and strong cheeses such as raku fort. Rock, 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 fort, okay. Rock um, fort. Gonzo Gonzola and blue cheeses. Oh. Pair is great with you dessert. You blue cheese upstairs? Including, okay, uh, you can go get some then. Um, including cheesecake, chocolate, cream boulet, and vanilla ice cream. Oh, nice. Okay, there you go. All right, well, let's see what's on the bottle here. Okay. It says here, uh, excuse me if I'm pronouncing this name wrong, but uh, Omi Gang ales are incomparable. Yielding unique flavors and aromas, inspired by a deep insight into Belgian brewing and infused with Oma Gang's creative upstate New York spirit, each ale offers perfect balance and pure drinking pleasure. Signed by someone who says it's too small to read, but I think it says daily yeah, tours and blah blah is available. Okay, a stout as dark as the winters that once engulfed Westeros, as robust as the men who swear their oaths at the Weirwood fire. At the, excuse me. At the Weirwood tree. Weirwood. And chocolate and caramel sweetness are balanced by hot bitterness, roasty woodsy notes, and an earthy finish, which you said. Pour slowly, not to disturb the yeast sediment. I guess I should have been sitting there just waving this thing around, huh? But with vigor but with a vigor to make a luxurious head and free the bouquet. Part of the Duvel family of fine Belgian nails. Okay. Duvel. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I was uh, open the. Uh, I'm going to go take home this bottle and put it on display. Okay, well, I'll make sure I take a picture first. Oh yes, I, you shall do that. 
Can I take a picture now? Well, I'm not doing Oh, you can take them all together? Yeah. All the ones from the night. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, recently reviewed on the Jim and Dave Beer Review. Hey, oh! That was quick. Boom. I hate it's just smoky. All right, now remember, pour gently and yet vigorously. Whatever the hell that means. It's like pour it, but don't pour it. There we go. We got a head. Good. All right, that worked. Just don't disturb the yeast on the bottom. Oh. So in other words, pour it so you get a head, but don't pour it like shaking the bottle, I guess. Puff. All righty. Well. It won't go back in. Yeah, that's what she said. It won't go back in. All right. Well. Not a big fan of uh, licorice and anise seeds and this stuff, but once in a while it's okay. I like licorice sometimes, but not a whole bunch. You said you don't like licorice at all. Hmm. Name the red stuff, huh? It's a little bit of a medicine smell. I can't. <laughs> I can't smell it. It's got a little bit of foam on my nose. That's what happens when you have I can't smell nose. anything. Hmm. Oh, well, let's go right into it. Cheers, people. Cheers, people. Hmm. Nice. I was expecting it to be horrible. Why? Well, I don't know. I just... Have you haven't had good choices tonight? Yeah, well, anus and licorice, you know, it's just like... Hoping for niece, $14 a me. bottle, it would be okay. Anus. <laughs> well, uh, right like off the bat... On this. Oh, by the way, it uh, was very black. I can't see through it. Uh, <laughs> it was black. Blick. It's nice. Omi gang. Well, if you like your dark beers, you like this. This um, and yet I think the licorice and the anise is not overpowering at all. It's like this little tiny seed. You know those German Christmas cookies my dad used to make? Yeah. The okay. um, Springerlies. Yeah. That was the flavoring. He put anus, wow. anise, anise seeds. <laughs> he put his anus high. He put his, anus high. <laughs> he put his, his little dude berries in there. <laughs> no, but the uh, the anise seeds go on the bottom, and you put the cookie on top, and that's basically the main flavor of it. It's kind of a licorice, licorice flavor. Really like. It has expanded, buddy. I can't do it back. Yep. There's a, I keep there's a certain technique you got to do to... Uh, <sighs> yeah. It fun to come back in. Mm. I do like this. Well, you know, in the drinking of life, some people are destined to be cork snippers. Which sounds naughty, but it's not. Cork snippers. Hey, you cork some bitch cork snipper. Cork snipper. Anyway, Dave, talk about the flavor. Oh, it's You're more obsessing good. about the bottle over there than you are about... I like the, the bottle. I like... Um, it, it's got licorice. Uh, I, I got some chocolatey. I got the uh, the licorice. Um, Definitely some roastiness. I got notes. some roastiness. A lot um, of roastiness. I got a little bit of caramel, a tinge of caramel. Um, uh, Not a lot of chocolate. No, no, more of a more of a toastiness, roastiness. Yeah, than, than very roasted. Chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely some good roasted uh, grains in there. Yep. I like mm -hmm. to drink about five or six of these in one night. That would be interesting. I'd be falling asleep. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's enjoyable, that's for sure. And it's not too cold, so we're probably doing it at the right temperature. Well, yeah, it's been in there for like two hours, and I don't think it was not in the... A little bitterness the on the back end. What would that be used? Did it say? Mm -mm. Hmm. I just guess around 60. <laughs> Bless you. I, guess I, I like to sneeze on beer reviews. Because once I start, I can't stop. Sneeze? Stop. 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 Don't sneeze. Don't stare at the light. Don't make you sneeze more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I would give this um, seven, seven and a half. Give it a seven and a half. I'm being honest with my feelings. Good. Trust your feelings, Dave. All right, so there we have it. Um, this is a winner. Let's uh, show you. First my winner of the night. I mean, I've been here for close to two and a half hours, and I've only had one beer so far. That you liked. Which is good. Yeah, well... We're trying to like be responsible because we're trying to be losing weight. That's what we're trying to do. Well, it's good to be to lose weight too. Well, it's best to lose weight. I don't get diabetes. So this is the uh, probably the second Omi Gang that I liked. Omi Gang. You had another Omi Gang? Yeah, we reviewed their. I think we did either triple or quad from them. Really the, quad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was quad. It was really good. I tried some of their other ones at a party, and I was just like, meh, not for me. But I wasn't, I'm not crazy about the styles anyway. So it's not only gang, it's just a style, I hope. But I'm sure we'll review them in the future. So anyway, there you have it. Seven, seven and a half. And that's from Jim and Dave. So, Dave, we like to tell people to drink responsibly. That includes telling pregnant women that they should not drink alcohol during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. 
Oh well, yeah, and, and do not drink and drive, do not operate heavy machinery. Which includes driving, so or please, if you're fork, driving, I always think forklifts when I think that. Well, hey, people drive forklifts and they're drunk, that's not I good I used either. to drive, drive forklifts when I was drunk. And then, so uh, I'm sure you were uh, forking around too much. Forking? Forklifting around. Forking A. Hey, there you go. A. And of course, drinking excessively can cause health problems. So please see your doctor if you think you have a problem. If you're in the in the in 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 the, in the armed services, ah, who cares about that? That's not. Possible. Oh, you don't care about the armed services? No, I, James, I, don't care about the armed services. No, you're always just like it's okay. Yeah, that, that, that's that's. The don't tell back. me what to do, Mister. No, that's every once in a while you go over your bounds. Not necessarily. You're going over your bounds. You're telling people, I will talk about. You're telling people it's illegal to drink. That's okay to drink. I'm saying that if you're on base, go ahead and have some because you're in the. Well, we don't know the rules. What if it's illegal? I'm what, saying it's okay. What if they'll get court martial? I think on base? I don't want to be responsible be okay. for that. You're not responsible for anything. I'm talking about responsible. Well, I don't know. It's people can say, "Oh, so don't you mean oh yeah, yeah so that makes it legal, man." No. What are you yeah. sniffing something right now? Yeah, well, check out your superior Please, officer before you drink on base. No, listen. What Dave is trying to say that we think that anyone who's old enough to serve their country is also old enough to drink. So if you're enlisted and you drink, that's okay. On base, but we don't know what the legalities are. No, I don't care what the legalities are. Which is why we shouldn't bring it up. I bring up until we consult with a lawyer. I bring up what I want. And of course, the reason we try all these different beers is we believe that you should drink great beers. And have a good laugh too. With your friends. Yes. And thank you for being our friends. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give us a message if you uh, have a comment. If you disagree or agree, we'd love to hear from you either way. Yes. Follow us on Can Twitter, Jim right Rett right. and Cole31. Yes. That's Jim with two M's, by the way. And, and that's, that's Cole with two L's. Ha ha ha! With two L's. See that? That one L. It's Cole. K U L 31. It's Cole. It was two L's. Okay. Is it, called, is it called usually spelled with two L's? It, there, well, Lex is also sometimes spelled one X and two, two, oh, two X's. Oh, uh, that's true. So you could, All right. That's it doesn't cool. really matter, but, you know. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye, Dave. Mm-hmm.